Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 7th of January uh, 2022. I've got a supplementary puzzle that's a new one for you today. Um, this is the Denver Post. Um, you know I'd like to play a few different newspapers around uh, if it seems like they're available, easily available for everybody to access. Um, but I absolutely refuse to play any newspaper games uh, or, or games from newspapers publications that are owned by Murdoch. So you won't find any any you know Sun Sudoku or or, or the Times Sudoku on my channel. And also the other uh, uh, bunch of idiots I don't want to um, publicize are the Moonies, who also own various newspapers around that I don't want to play. But this uh, newspaper looks like they've got some credibility owned unfortunately by a hedge fund group but the edit editorial staff trying to uh, protest against that and uh, anyway I, I don't mind uh, this one let's give it a go now this is their medium level puzzle for today I hope the link works if the link doesn't work for some reason if we try it again another time I'll post uh, a version on Sudoku exchange but anyway let's give it a go so we've got the uh, as I say a medium level so uh, we may have beginners with us or uh, less experienced players, I'm not sure, but anyway, the first thing I can see are fives blocking across here. Do you notice? Fives across the top two rows. So that means we can place a five in this square here. I have no idea about this puzzle, uh, about the level at all. Oh, clearly, this is the first time I've ever played a game from this publication, so we have yet to see just how tricky or not it will be. Three blocks across this row, three blocks up this column, so that means we can place a three there. Now that three is going to block down this column and up here, and it's going to put a three there. Uh, I see the one blocking down here and one blocking down here with one across this row, so that means a one can fit there. I see the nine blocking across this row here, so there's room for a nine there. Um, uh, the four blocks down here and the four blocks up here, so four will fit there. Missing numbers here are one and five. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Uh, so that means missing numbers here are not one and five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven and eight are missing here. Do we have any help on seven or eight? Uh, no, actually we don't, but we can get this number here. Um, this was, is going to have to be a 6 then, if that's 7 or 8 there. Okay, we have 6 blocking this row and the penultimate row and down this column. So 6 will be placed there. Uh, we're going to finish 6's off. You can see 6 blocking up here and up here. Uh, why are we going to finish 6's off? Yeah because 6 blocking up here, so 6 and 6 blocking here of course, so there's just one empty square on this top row where 6 can go. And then 6 blocking across here like that, across here, and then 6 blocking up here. So our first completed digit is a 6 then. Um, where do we go from here? Let's just hit the numbers and see what's what. Okay, so uh, we've got one blocking, one blocking across this row, okay, and one blocking up here. <laughs> you know what I'm doing? Strange mouse action again. So that means one is going to be in one of these two squares, right? Which is going to block this square. Then we've got one blocking across here, so one is in row up there, or you could have just said this one blocks this square and this one blocks this square and there's only one empty square. There, there's always more than one way of looking at these, not always, I'll take that back. There is often more than one way of seeing these numbers. This 9 blocks this square here, but we don't have a 9 in this row yet, so we'll put the 9 in. Now 7 will go there. Now 7, if you notice, blocks this square here, and we still need a 7 for this particular block here. 
So we'll put the 7 there and we'll find the missing number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is an 8. Let's put it in. Um, Right, what's left to do? Um, let's just see what's missing along this row here. Well, we're missing one, seven, eight. Uh, we got a one and a seven. We don't know anything about the eight. What's missing down here? We're missing three, four, five. Okay, well, we got a four block in here and a four block in here. So we know the four has to go there. The three and the five, we don't know yet. Um, seven blocks this square and seven blocks this square. And clearly this seven blocks these three squares. So in row two, there's only one place where we can place our seven. So we'll put that there. And then we'll say seven blocking down here and up here. That's a seven there. seven blocking down this column, down this column, and across here, that's a seven going there. Um, right, let's see what we need down here. We've got a one, we don't have a two yet, so two blocks down there, two will be in one of those squares. Uh, we don't have a 4 yet. 4 is blocked from this square here, actually. Uh, 2, 4, 8, 9 we need. Ah, 9 blocks here and this 9 blocks here. So we've got a pair of 9s there. And 8 blocks down here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's come back and investigate up here, shall we? Ah, oh, we need a one. Okay, so one blocking across there. That puts a one in that square there. Missing numbers here are three and eight. So if that's three and eight, we can get this number here for sure. Uh, okay, so this is an eight. So the eight's going to block across here. And that will be an eight there. And now this... Hmm. Um, okay, three numbers are missing here. They are 2, 7, and 9. We've got a 7 and a 9 both blocking this square, so that's going to have to be a 2 then. Uh, we don't have a 1 in this column yet. We're lacking a 1. We have an intersecting 1 here, so 1 goes there. And to finish this column, we just need a 3. Uh, now we have one blocking down this column, one blocking across this row, so there's just one empty square for a one. Now to finish this row we only have one option, and that option, whether you like it or not, is an eight. And why wouldn't you like it? What have you got against eight? Eight blocks up here, so eight goes in there, and to finish this block we need a three. Now three stops this from being a three, so a three will go in here, and to finish this block Five will do. That will do five. That will do. Uh, down here we need a two to finish this column, I think. Okay, now that two stretches across this row with the two stretching down there. So that will put a two into that square. And then we'll take the two and block across here and this two blocking across. So of course two must go there. We're not finished twos yet. Oh no. There's Where's the, ah, oh, up here. Okay, so we've got the two blocking this square, two blocking this square, just one place left for a two in the whole grid, and it's got to go there. Now we have one digit missing from this column. It's a four, put it in. Um, and then the four blocks this square here, so 
4 goes there, and now 4 is complete. 2, 4, and 6 are complete. The missing number here is a 9. Uh, 9 blocks this square here, so 9 will go there. And to complete either this block or this column, whichever way around you look at it, will be our trusty 8. Um, <clears throat> we just need this square here to finish this column. We have 1, 2, we don't have a 3 anywhere, so that must be it. Now we just have one number to complete this row. We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, we don't have five. Let's put it in. Okay, down here we are two numbers missing. We're missing eight and nine, but clearly this nine blocks this square here. So nine is there, eight goes here, and then eight will block along this row, putting itself into the bottom right hand corner, and that's a completed digit now. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? They're all done. And so is three, actually. Um, missing numbers here are five and seven. Any joy? No, no joy. Missing numbers here are one. Yes, so we see a blocking one here. So we know the one goes there. And the missing number here is five, I do believe. Okay, so now the five blocks this square. And five can go there. And our missing number here is a seven. 7 will stop that being a 7, 7 goes here, and to finish our first ever game from the Denver Post at the medium level, by the way they do have other levels on offer which we'll give a go, we'll have a try at at some point I think, 9 goes in, a very quick game, um, hopefully that wasn't too fast for you if you're a beginner, you can always um, um, you know, go back and check on stuff again if you're not sure about how it works, or you can ask questions on the channel and uh, as long as I've got enough time, I'll answer them directly in the comments. And feel free to comment um, if you're from Denver and read the Denver Post <laughs> and tell us if it's a good newspaper or not. And uh, um, if you are a beginner, don't worry about posting questions and seeming like, you know, there are a lot of experts on this channel. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. Ask questions, even if they're fairly... Um, you know, a beginner level, that's okay, we welcome questions, uh, if I can, and I'll do my best to answer them if I can. Okay, thank you very much, and hope to see you again for more Sudoku. Subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer. That's it, bye-bye.